I, um, good question. I, 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 there, was the, there was a story that someone in the EPA told me about the time uh, Scott Pruitt was in a western state, uh, somewhere in a high desert, I believe, and he was walking around, and they told him there were rattlesnakes, and he sort of freaked out and got <laughs> back into the van and didn't go out the whole day. No, I just like, I like these little stories because these, a lot of these guys just, they want to they seem so tough and, and so kind. You know, they all want to be their own version of Trump, but, they're, but, but some of these stories do show their frailties, and I, I don't know if that necessarily humanizes them, but, it, but at least it's amusing. Uh, you know, one of the, one of the funny things that um, I heard, it was actually sort of sad, I, I spoke to someone, um, someone you actually know quite well, who, 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 who had worked closely with Tom Price, and this person said, look, I remember when he had a mustache and we called him Ned Flanders, he was such a nice guy, <laughs> he would have people over. I don't know the guy who was taking $25,000 flights who wasted half a million dollars of your money throughout you know, about six months because, and this is what his press people said, he was going to see real Americans. He was leaving Washington to go see real Americans. She said, I don't know who that guy was. She said, being in, when he was a congressman, he was a nice, normal guy. And suddenly there he is, you know, living like a third world despot. Um, and, and how does that happen to someone? So, so actually, I don't, how does that happen is one of the questions that I think will take us a long time to, to answer. Why, why this administration could not enforce its own, why it couldn't live out its own convictions, right? Because Trump clearly has convictions. He believes certain things very strongly.